will slay you, dragon, and save the princess. Now, fair maiden, I will cut off the dragon's head. <coughs> give it back. Here it is. Come on, take it. Michael, give it to me. <coughs> Margaret Elizabeth Carter! You'll be the death of me, Peggy Carter. Oh. Where is my blasted handkerchief? <laughs> oh, go on, have a laugh, but one of these days you're going to have to start behaving like a lady. We thought you'd run out of time, love. We'd started taking wages around the office that Fred would never pop the question. I bet he would. Someone owes me two quid. It might be me. I bet he wouldn't. <laughs> All right, ladies. Enough chatting. Back to your codes. It's Carter. A word. I hope you are ready for another proposal. What's SOE? Special Operations Executive. It's a new war division spearheaded by Winston Churchill himself. And they need a codebreaker. Codebreaker? Good heavens now. They're being tasked to train field agents in irregular warfare. Espionage, sabotage, guerrilla tactics. Field work? But they don't send women into the field. Resistance networks all over Europe need people who won't draw attention walking down the street. They need women. And they're recruiting you. Discuss it with my fiance. But I'm afraid I'm simply not cut out for that kind of work. A toast to my two favorite men meeting at last. Mm -hmm. Did I tell you I was recruited to be a spy? <laughs> <laughs> we turned them down, of course. Mm. Did we? Can you imagine risking life and limb behind enemy lines doing God knows what? That that's not our peg. Hmm. One thing I've learned from the war. A boring life is a privilege. I'll get us a top up, hmm? Mm. So? What do you think? What does it matter what I think? You're the one marrying him. Of course it matters. I want you to like him. Why did you turn down the SOE job? It's just... It wasn't the plan that we had for our lives. This isn't what you want. What is it that you think I want? The same thing you've wanted since you were a little girl. A life of adventure. I've grown up. My dream's changed. No, you've just let everyone else drum them out of you. But Fred's a nice enough chap, but be honest. Is he the love of your life? Is this really how you see your future? This is my engagement party, Michael. Not your wedding day. Look, there is still time to change your mind. <clears throat> oh, I'll go and see who that is. Gentlemen, I'm Agent Carter. I supervise all operations for this division. 
Must be the accent, Queen Victoria. I thought I was signing up for the U.S. Army. What's your name, soldier? Gilmore Hodge, Your Majesty. Step forward, Hodge. Put your right foot forward. Hmm, you get a rasa? Because I got a few moves I know you'll like. <laughs> Agent Carter! Colonel Phillips. I can see that you are breaking in the candidates. That's good. Get your ass up out of that dirt and stand in that line at attention until somebody comes and tells you what to do. Yes, sir. Mr. Stark, how are your levels? Levels at 100%. Good. We may dim half the lights in Brooklyn, but we are ready, as we'll ever be. Agent Carter, don't you think it would be more comfortable in the booth? Oh, yes, yeah, of course. Good. Sorry. We did it. Yeah, yeah. I think we did it. You actually did it. How'd you feel? I told her. Um, you look taller. You're gonna need a rain check on that dance. A week next Saturday at the Stork Club. You got it. Eight o'clock on the dot. Don't you dare be late. Understood? You know, I still don't know how to dance. I'll show you how. Just be there. We'll have the band play something slow. Steve? 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 I don't understand. I thought the stockpile held only artifacts. Not everything we dug out of the ground was an antique, my friend. Some of it was quite advanced. Is this the reason these men... Hmm? Yeah. The Red Skull said it may hold the answer. The answer to death itself. <laughs> Give him an A for effort. Good and talk, boys. All right, nice and calm. No sudden moves or we'll tie a blasting cap to you. Hey, Dugan, what's the German word for nuts? I don't know, Jim. But we'll tie a blasting cap to him, I bet we'll hear it. Put it down. Down. These assets are now under the protection of the Strategic Scientific Reserve. They'll be relocated and hidden out of sight indefinitely, as will you. Cut off one head. Two more shall grow in this place. And I guess we'll keep cutting them off. Get him out of here. All right, boys, let's pack it up. Agent Carter, what the hell is all this stuff? Dangerous. Right now, we need to contain everything and get it out of enemy territory. Mrs. Stark plans to go through it tonight. And that we must never touch. This is the last hydrocyte we know of. They're finally beaten. You don't sound thrilled. Well, these things can't simply be boxed up. Someone needs to establish a permanent unit during peacetime. Be dangerous technology contained. And watch over people like Stark who are toying with it. Until then, all we can do is box it up, lock it up, and dedicate ourselves to making sure it never sees the light of day.
Werner Reinhardt. That was a neat trick. I'm sorry I don't follow, Doctor. It's a pattern. You wanted to see what I would do with it. After all, there are so many uses. No? Escape, confession, homicide, suicide. It's true I wanted to find out what kind of man you were. You didn't use the pen. So, now I know. Pens are also used for signatures. You want a deal? How terribly shocking. The US government has recruited many German scientists. They'll send rockets into space. Maybe they can strap you to one of them. They'll show you parlor tricks. Giving me a second chance could save all of humanity. I've seen all of your home movies. The bodies left in your wake. The girl you caged up. There'll be no second chances for you. You must be dying to understand all the items you recovered. They're fascinating, no? I don't suppose you'll tell me where they came from? There's a story. A myth from the east of... a star that fell from the heavens. Of blue angels who came bearing a gift for all mankind meant to save the world. You don't strike me as a believer. Oh, I've based my whole life on it. History just has the details wrong. Then set history straight. These visitors, they didn't come to save the world. They came to conquer it. So, curiosity brings her back. Have you come to make a deal? With the devil, I considered it. As you said, the skies might open up one day. Your work would be valuable. But if that day comes, I know who I'd want by my side. It isn't you. If we could learn so much together. Instead, we'll forget. Forget you. Forget your work. When I leave, no one else will come. No one to hear your stories, study your deadly artifacts. You'll be buried. I seriously doubt that. Nothing stays buried forever. For as long as I have a say, you will. Farewell, Dr. Reinhardt. Agent Carter, we just caught a red ball out of DC. All hands on deck. Meaning, cover the phones. Rose, forward all calls to the briefing room. Covered. Shall we? But when you're not humiliating him, that fellow up there is my butler, Edwin Jarvis. He'll help you in any way he can. I owe you one, pal. Nice to see you too, Howard. Howard is giving me this. He is under the impression that the sample of Captain America's blood was lost when he was under Dr. Fenhoff's control. So you are giving me this? I owe Howard Stark a great deal. But he does not own my integrity. I am quite certain there is only one person in the world who knows what to do with this. You, Miss Carter. Someday, when I'm awfully low, when the world is cold, I will feel a glow just thinking of you and the way you look tonight oh but you're lovely with your smile so warm and your cheeks so soft there is nothing for me but to oh, love you just the way Then 
drop in the sea. Miss Carter. Mr. Jarvis. If I may, it seems Los Angeles has rather agreed with you, Miss Carter. Are you certain you need to return to New York? Are you trying to convince me to stay in a city that you claim to detest? The preposterous palm trees? The heat? Terrible drivers? Uh, no, no, I, 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 fair point. Yes, I, I admit I have grown rather fond of certain elements. Let me try a taco. <laughs> oh, delightful. My whole life is in New York. My roommate, my job. My plane ticket's already booked. Of course. Agent Carter, it is my honor to inform you that you are going to run S.H.I.E.L.D. And I'd also like to assist you in carrying your personal items down to your car. Thank you, Agent Flynn. But as has always been the case, I don't require your help. Yes, that was a difficult winter. We were in, in Russia. A blizzard had trapped half our battalion behind the German line. Steve, Captain Rogers, he fought his way through a Hydra blockade uh, that had pinned our allies down for months. He saved over a thousand men, including the man who would, uh, who would become my husband, as it turned out. Even after he died, Steve was still changing my life. I understand that you were the last person to speak to Captain Rogers before his plane went down. I was. <clears throat> Could you tell us what he said? Stark. He doesn't seem happy. Hello, Hank. You're supposed to be in Moscow. I took a detour through your defense lab. Tell me that isn't what I think it is. That depends if you think it's a poor attempt to replicate my work. Even for this group, that takes nerve. You were instructed to go to Russia. May I remind you, Dr. Pym, that you're a soldier? And... I'm a scientist. Then act like one. The Pym Particle is the most revolutionary science ever developed. Help us put it to good use. That you turn me into your errand boy, and now you try to steal my research? If only you'd protected Janet with such ferocity, Dr. Pym. Uh. Ah! Easy, Hank. 
You mention my wife again, and I'll show you ferocity. Don't look at me. You said it. I formally tender my resignation. We don't accept it. Formally. Hank, we need you. The Pym Particle is a miracle, please. Don't let your past determine the future. As long as I am alive, nobody will ever get that formula. You've already lied to him. Now you want to go to war with him? Yes. Our scientists haven't come close to replicating his work. You just kicked your ass full size. You really want to find out what it's like when you can't see him coming? I've known Hank Pym for a long time. He's no security risk. Unless we make him one. You should be proud of yourself, Peggy. Mm -hmm. I have lived a life. My only regret is that you didn't get to live yours. What is it? For as long as I can remember, I just wanted to do what was right. I guess I'm not quite sure what that is anymore. And I thought I could throw myself back in and Follow orders, serve. It's just not the same. <laughs> Always so dramatic. <laughs> Look, you saved the world. We rather mucked it up. You didn't. Knowing that you helped found Shield is half the reason I stay. The world has changed. None of us can go back. All we can do is our best. And sometimes the best that we can do is to start over. <laughs> It's over, Steve. We can go home. Imagine it.
Agent Carter. Wouldn't you be more comfortable in the booth? No, I'd prefer to stay. The serum will cause immediate cellular change. In order to prevent uncontrolled growth, the subject will be saturated with vitamins. You won't be needing those hills anymore. Peggy? Wow. I'd call this an absolute success. Put down the sword. Whoa! What? Are you scared? Are you seeing that? Captain Carter, the soldier lost in time. You have been chosen. You ready? The stone. down. She's Natasha Romanoff. Who? Yeah. I'm also supposed to be the last person on this planet. We're from another universe. Universes. We're here to stop Ultron. I can prove it. Your father is Ivan, your Dars Alexei, and you're the one woman I trust to have my six, including now. And there are three people you trust in the universe, and I count myself lucky enough to be one of them. Once you walk through that door, you will return to the exact moment you left. It's time to go, Captain. <laughs> I'm too fast. Don't tell me. He was your type? Oh, Widow, I've never been so happy to see you. I shall miss you, my friend. Stephen Strange, you are now called before the Illuminati. I, Baron Karl Mordo, the Sorcerer Supreme. You hear Carl? Captain Carter, the first Avenger. Your alternate self created the Illuminati to make difficult decisions that no one else could. Today we're here to determine what to do with you and the child. I could do this all day. 